In this video, I'm going to plan the month of February and set up my dashboard pages in my Erin Condren monthly planner. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. If you're new here, my name is Kristen. Welcome to the channel. I post functional planning videos three times a week. If you are a returning friend, thank you so much for being here. Okay, so first we're gonna change out the cover. This cover I picked the colors for and I just noticed that all the little holes are still attached to this and that is gonna take forever to do. I wonder if I start just putting it on the coil, if that will pop that out, and then I'm gonna have to do some cleaning up. We've got some uh, cover confetti. So I do have a whole bunch of stuff on my um, inside of my cover, and I have some stuff on the back cover as well that I'm gonna need to transfer over. Let's see if this is gonna work. Wow, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this on quickly. I think I'm gonna stop recording and try to get all these little dealies out and get the cover on and then I'll meet you back here. All right, that took a little bit. I didn't wanna keep recording because these videos, the monthly videos can get pretty long and that was gonna take forever and run down my battery and use up my SD card, but I got all those little clear things off and now we can transfer these things over. So I like to keep some stuff on my cover. Instead of writing on it, I use sticky notes because the wet erase marker does transfer over and I don't want that to happen. So I just have like a little cheat sheet here of some recurring bills that come out of my personal account. And then I just have some sticky notes that I um, reach for every now and then. And stuff that I have already, like sticky notes that I have already like written on but can reuse, I will put here as well. And so I'm just gonna add them all. This is just a note for like the Cricut print and cut area. And then these are just the last of some of my favorite sticky notes. Um, let's move that over here. All right, oh, and there's a little piece of washi that I kept. Let's see if I can reuse that. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I don't know, it might lose some of its stick, but we'll just put it here for fun. Okay, so that's the front, and then on the back cover I have this is a like a reusable like envelope pocket thing from Avery. It was from the Martha Stewart line. I cannot find these anywhere. I think I said last month that I might like reach out to Avery and ask them about it. And then of course I never did. So I don't know. Maybe I'll remember to do that. All right, February. Got all my sticky notes ready to go. This is how I pre-plan. I use a long sticky note in the sidebar to write down any like birthdays or important dates. And then I use these sticky notes and move them as I decorate. And then that way I'm not committing to anything and I can, you know, plan, sit down and plan all at the same time. The stickers I'm gonna be using are these Erin Condren stickers from the monthly sticker book. This is the new version that you can get now. This is the edition seven that is no longer available on the Erin Condren website. And then I have my folder of February stickers and I just have a lot of other stickers in here that you've probably seen if you watched my February lineup video, but a lot of them are Erin Condren stickers I'm trying to use. And then I had some leftover stickers from a super old planner cake kit. And then these are well, this one, and then these are some stickers that I did um, myself on my Cricut. This is just a, uh, like some scripts of things that I normally write down. And these are some little icons I wanted to try. These came out 
a lot tinier than I thought they were going to. I mean, I did measure, but they're still very small. <laughs> I don't know. So these are a little small and these actually ended up being a little big. Um, I want to, I made enough for like six months, so I'm probably just going to keep using them until they're done. But I feel like the text, the font size might be a little bit big, but we'll see once everything's planned. All right. Um, this is how I want to do this. I also have my folder of all my monthly stickers that can be used any month. And I'm going to get out, there's a sheet of date dots from Planner Kate that match the Erin Condren colorway. And I don't know where they are. They should be right here. Did I put them in with the February stickers? Um, basically, I'm looking for the date dots because I want to put the two January dates here and then the beginning of March down here. Um, I did that here, which I didn't do in the plan with me, but um, I needed to see the whole week because, you know, that's st there's still stuff happening that week, but now this week and this week are the same week. So when we get to week five, I might just flip and start using the February spread because that's where the week is gonna be planned behind the February tab anyway. I gotta find those, those stickers. I don't know where they would be if they're not in here and why would they have gotten lost? Um, so strange. They've gotta be in here, I'm just not. Here they are. I don't know. Oh, they were in with the bill stickers, which I just thought they were all going to be bill stickers. All right. So I'm going to use the pink ones, even though like January is this color and March is this color, I'm going to keep with the same color scheme. And so for January, we've got the 30th and the 31st. Is that right? I feel like I don't know why. January has 31 days. Yes, 30 and 31st. And then let's put um, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. The first through the fifth on the March. And I'm going to the March color, even though I just said I was going to use the pink. And I could use my tweezers. That might make it go a little bit faster. By now you might have watched my February goals video. And so I'm thinking that the dashboard setup won't take as long as it normally does because I kind of already figured out the goals that I want to put on the dashboard. And I've already kind of brainstormed where I want to put everything on the dashboard, not as far as deco, but like as far as like which box I want to use for what piece of information. All right, now we can start in on, I'm gonna copy everything over from this week and I think it's all still there. Okay, no, I need to make sure to do, yeah, okay. So, tennis, let's just get that bill due sheet out. And first I wanna look at, I did bring over my reusable sticker album from Orange Umbrella Co. and I do have some like bill due stickers. I do have two pink ones and I have these pink paydays. So I'm gonna use those. I'm just really trying to use up all my stickers. So um, I only have two of those pink bill due stickers though. And I have um, one, two, hmm, three, four, is there something I can do? I can use the lighter pink ones because the other stickers, there, there is this like lighter pink color blends thing. So yeah, I'm gonna use these five pink Bill Dew stickers. So we've got tennis and um, 
I need to put this in March, but I don't know. So if I'm paying, yeah, so that's that one. And then that'll be four weeks. And so this one, okay. Cause I do, I try to pay it um, four weeks at a time. Okay. And we will do, this one is Disney Plus, which is always on the 8th. Maybe I should be writing. <laughs> I have this Erin Condren dual tip dual ink marker and this dual tip marker. This one is garnet, but it matches like the darker pinks. And this one is peony and fuchsia. And um, I don't know, I might just write with my pen. <laughs> my yeah, I think I'm just gonna write with my pen. Um, so let me write. Disney Plus, and then move this over to March 8th. These were tennis. And Disney Plus is 1403. And Adobe, and I believe that's on the 12th. Right? Let me see. Is it always on the 12th? Yes, and that is 59.53. And what was the other one? The game, the lunch. Yeah, so I need to check my son's like lunch money. And I do that on the last Friday of the month. And I have a little cheat sheet that I figured out based on how many days of school there are. And that is here. So in February, to get enough for March, I need 49.50. So I'm just gonna write 50 and I do round that. I round it up once I go into his account and see how much is actually left in the account. Um, I give him extra for just like treats or whatever. Um, basically the, um, basically the four, this number is, the cost of a hot lunch, just the hot lunch, and then times however many days, school days there are, and yeah. And then usually there might be, there might be a little bit left over in his account because we do tend to give him extra, and then, yeah, and then I just assess from there, but I know it'll be at least 50. Okay, so I have the bills. Now I need to, let's look back at January. My husband's gonna be out of town, which I don't need to write the way I did here. I'm just gonna put um, that I need to pick him up at the airport on Wednesday. For Tuesday, I need to order the photos that I took in January, which I still haven't gotten my photos back from Walmart, the photos that I ordered at the end of December. I don't know what is going on there, but they, yeah. Let's just use one of these little cameras and I'm just, I think what I'm gonna do, actually, I did get these icons and I do have cameras on there. So this is kind of what I wanna try. I wanna try using these icons so it's not so crowded. Um, and I did make enough for groceries. So how about what I'll do is I'm gonna put this little camera icon up at the top because our labels 
that I used aren't going to fit up here next to the dates, but these tiny little icons will. And I'm hoping that will help jog my memory as to what I'm doing that day. I think that's kind of what I want to do. So let's do that first before I get going too far on this. Let me put all these icons down on the days that they need to go. Since I don't have an icon for the monthly check-in, i put that there so I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna use one of these. And we'll just use this white planner with a pink heart because I feel like these are too, oh, here's a pink planning time. Here, a small one. These are just planner Kate planning time. And that can go there. So let me do the let me see what else we have here. I'm not even using these stickers yet. This is called Everyday Icons. And when you purchase this listing, you get them in every the power just went out. Okay, let me go check on my computer. It's attached to the battery backup, but I need to go make sure it's fine. I will be back. Okay, well, power's out, but I have light and I can keep filming. If the power stays out for a while, I'll just knit. Anyway, these are icons and scripts from a pretty planscape, but that is their old branding. Their new branding is called Only Plans, which I just think is hilarious, but um, I like all these little icons, so. They're the better, they're a better size than the ones I made. They're slightly bigger. And so let me see what I have as far as um, what I need here. I don't think, there is one that says date night, but I already used that. So I can just save that for next time. I have, this planning time, which looks just like that one. Okay, well, I didn't need these after all. I do have these two. So I have for savings, I have a savings deposit sticker here. This is Planner Kate. It's just a, a like a neutral one. And um, also, so there's these payday stickers, but I don't know that I need to write anything in there. And I do only have two, so we're just gonna use these flags, the payday flags. Um, so I'll put that over here and I'll put the savings deposit sticker here and payday. Let me move this now. Do I need to? No, I don't need to move it. So payday, payday, and then these need to go on the following, I shouldn't have any, I don't think I'm gonna have another payday for from the school district this month, no. Okay, so where am I going here? We need 
payday and savings and payday there. All right. And I don't like these little tennis rackets. <laughs> It wouldn't be one of my spreads if I wasn't taking stickers back up that I decided I don't like. I am trying to figure out exactly, like exactly what stickers I need because I don't really like a lot of stickers. So let's do um, the filming days. I'm trying to note filming days on my calendar because I'm trying to make it a priority to film and so I'm trying not to schedule too much or um, you know either an event or an appointment or expecting myself to like get a whole bunch of like to-do list tasks done on those days so that's why I like to note these kinds of things like filming because I'm obviously going to be taking some time to film things on these days. And so I'm not gonna have a whole bunch of time to like, you know, deep clean my house or go have lunch with a friend or whatever. Because there's only certain hours I can film so that I have like the right daylight and then I have like a quiet, empty house, that kind of thing. So, oh, and you know what I completely forgot? The most important thing is I'm not even gonna be home this day, so I can't film that day. And um, I need to probably put that, that was probably the first thing I should put, should have put in. Um, I did not check here that I have travel, and I even wrote it here, and I didn't, yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I need to, let's mark the travel with some of this washi. So we, I think we're gonna use the smaller ones because I only need some here and some here. Although if I use the big one, I could probably make it match. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use the big one. <laughs> and let's just, Let's use the hearts and we are traveling and um, so I'm going to put it like right in the middle because I'm not going to like schedule anything for those days and I can use one of these I think. Yeah and then here. All right, let's move this over a little bit. And that's not in the middle. All right, and then what do I have? I have, um, Too many stickers on the table. This says vacation on it. Oh, I could have used that washi strip. That's okay. The hearts match and since it's Valentine's Day, while we're gonna be gone, it kind of works out. Vacation. This is that washi paper, so. It's a little hard to get up sometimes. And I'm going to put it on this. Oh, power came back on. Oh, no it's not. It's like going on and off constantly. That is freaky. Can you hear all that beeping? That's like my microwave <laughs> coming back to life. That was weird. The lights were, oh, it's possessed. 
If you can't hear that, when I'm editing this and I can't, if I can't hear the, all that beeping in the, um, oh my God, that is so weird. I'm gonna have to edit this out if you can't hear it because you're gonna be like, what are you talking about? All right, um, oh, look at this. This says Valentine's Day and it, it matches, so let's use it, even though I don't really care that it's Valentine's Day. Um, this was from, um, a little monthly sticker book from Hobby Lobby from the Paper Studio brand. And, um, all right, I'm getting sidetracked. I wanted some, what are these called? Appointment labels for my lashes, I think, so that I can write the time um, that the appointment is. And I could use those. Let's see what else I have in the pink section. And I have these. But I like these better than I like these. And that's just my weird way of doing things as I get rid of the things I don't like as much. Um, earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna put them up at the top because my lash appointments are in the morning. And you might also be wondering what is going on with my Monday start. I made my own headers and date covers just in white that turned my Erin Condren monthly spread into a um, Monday start because that's what I prefer. And I just went, the day that I made the stickers on my Cricut, I just went and redated the entire planner. So that's why I have a Monday start. So my lash appointment will be this day. And this day. All right, so let's write that in. Um, this appointment, is this appointment already scheduled? Let me see. Yes. So this one's already scheduled. I'm not going to write the time in here, even though it should be 1030. The thing is, if my lash tech that I like is not available or something, then I am going to have to change the time or even the day but um, I'm not gonna write the time in on that one until I know for sure, because I will only go to her. Okay, so now we have all the basic stickers, and then I also had these that I made. These are supposed to go on here, and I did them on a white background because I just wanted them to be clean and everything and now I have these icons here so I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the scripts on here even though I wasn't going to earlier because now that I'm my electricity is haunted <laughs> now that I'm looking at this this is what I had intended to do but I just forgot so I'm gonna move all this and yeah, maybe that's annoying, I don't know. So this planning time I don't need because I do have a monthly reset on here. Um, so let me put the planning time back on my reusable album. There's also no school this week, so maybe I should write that down too. Okay, monthly reset. Oh, and I had these that say lash appointment. I'll just save them because I already used these. Um, groceries I tend to do on Mondays and um, I do it earlier. So I'll go ahead and put these up towards the top. It's not gonna fit on the top here with the payday. I'd kind of like things to look the same, to have like a consistent look. So that's why I'm like fiddling with it to make sure everything's in the same spot. 
So groceries is important to have on here because it takes a long time for me to like go to the store and then also I do my meal prep on that day and so I just wanna make sure I'm like remembering when I glance at my calendar that, you know, my morning is gonna be busy. I'm gonna be out of town this day so I'm not gonna do groceries but I'm gonna move groceries to Thursday and I think what I'll probably do that day is do a grocery order like on my travel day to be delivered on Thursday. Um, so let's see if I have any order grocery stickers. I do, but I don't have a delivery in pink. So I'm just gonna say order groceries and then um, on my weekly spread that week, it'll have a, um, I'll do, I'll write the time for the delivery, but I do wanna put the order groceries on my monthly so that when I am planning my week, I remember that I wanna order groceries for that week. Okay, so now we've got uh, Mondays. And um, I do need to put that I'm picking up my husband from the airport that day. And that is at a specific time. And I am just gonna put PM. Um, oh look, I have these um, flight info stickers, but I don't really wanna write that in my planner. Um, one, it's, it's in my Google Calendar, um, and two, my planner goes on the internet. <laughs> um, I don't, since it is in my Google Calendar, I don't really need it um, in my paper planner um, because I'm not gonna have my paper planner with me when I'm traveling anyway, so it doesn't really matter about like the time. And so, yeah. All right, let's do this alone flag. And that is going to be in the evening to pick up my husband. I'm not even using any of these Aaron Condren stickers. Oh well, they're always gonna match, so whatever I don't use will get used. Okay, so. I'm gonna use the thicker pen. All right. Um, and then this, I'm gonna just put the other little airplane sticker on my little vacation thing here. Maybe I need to move the vacation over a little bit to fit the sticker in. Every month I tell myself I am not gonna take so long to film my monthly plan with me, but every month, <laughs> without fail, I take forever. And actually, I don't know why I'm so worried about it. Um, anytime I mention that, um, you tell me that you like the longer videos, so I appreciate that. And, um, that is good to know that you don't mind the longer videos because I just don't know how I can cut it down, you know? I just don't. <laughs> um, these little lash appointment stickers, I think I'm gonna put on here because there's no room for them on these appointment labels and then I can just use them another time. Cleaning out my car is something I'm trying to get better at doing on a regular basis and so when did I do it? I'm gonna try to do it the first Saturday of the month. That's kind of what I decided. And then when we're out doing the haircut, I can get it washed, I think. I think that's kind of what I'm thinking might work and I do have a car on here. And I'm also gonna put that we have no school this week. Um, first Saturday of the month is also here for March. I 
And I have some birthday balloons, um, but I'm also, I also have some in here. And I'm going to just put the birthday balloon on a day there's a birthday. And then I think I will just write the person's name. I was thinking I might do... Um, I was thinking I might put the balloon on the day there's a birthday and then write the birthdays over here, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to do it this way. These balloons are kind of big though, but they match. <laughs> I'm trying to do it even so that it's like the same format. Okay, let's write that down. Okay, and I also film on Fridays, so let's put the rest of these cameras here. I might end up moving that earlier in this week because we're leaving for vacation the next day, and so I might not end up filming that day, but we'll see. And then I might not end up filming this day either, but I don't know. We're just, that's my intention is to film on that day. We'll see what happens when we get there. Okay, these are so tiny. I've got to start using those tweezers more. All right, and the last one. All right, and then what else do I have? These, um, I have this that says monthly reset and I'm gonna put this here as like a checklist um, of the things that I wanna do. And I'm gonna use this checklist box, I think, but let me look as well. I have, these don't really match that much. Um, I have these Erin Condren stickers. That's too big. Monthly reset. And then does this fit there? It does. Okay. And then um, I'm going to, ooh, you know what else I just thought of? I also have those little checklist stickers. These. Do these line up with the lines? They don't. Okay. For the monthly reset, I change my wallpaper on like my devices. Um, I clean out my camera roll, which my intention is to do that when I order the photos. So I'll order the photos that I want and then move everything into like storage and then like delete all the like blurry ones or whatever. I need to change out my command center calendar and that's not going to fit, is it? Okay, command center. And then I need to clean out all my inboxes. So I have like an, a physical inbox tray on my desk and then my email inbox. And then there's like a couple of places that other people in my home put papers and such down. Um, and I just kind of go check that and make sure there's nothing that needs to be taken care of. All right. So that's fun. Okay. I didn't use much of this deco. Um, I have, these are going to be headers for the dashboard. And so let's see, I like this. Oh, um, 
I didn't do no school. So let me do no school and then I don't need this anymore. I have a sticker for no school. And I'm not gonna use washi. I think I'm gonna do like one of these and then just say no school and then this week. I have a sticker that says this week and then I have a sticker that says no school. And so it should work out pretty well. Even though I don't think they're the same font, but guess what, I don't care. Um, because right now I'm more in the mindset that I just want to um, use up stickers. I have a no school and I do have where it says this week in the gen plans font. So I think that's gen plans, isn't it? I mean, it's close enough, even if it's not, it's close enough. So no school this week. And I think that works out perfectly. And I kind of don't like that very much. Does that fit on one of these flags better? We're doing a little bit of experimenting here. So let me take this. Oh, I could, no. I was gonna say I could cut that. No school, and then let's get the this week. This week. Try to get this back on here, even though I've touched it all over the place, it's probably not gonna stick anymore. All right, these are all the February stickers. They need to go back in the February thing for now until we get to the dashboard. All right, okay. I guess that's looking pretty good. All right, so that is the month. I like that it's got a lot of white space. There's still a lot of stickers on here, but it's the white space that I'm really like enjoying. And I don't have anything that I need to write here right now, um, but I don't tend to write a lot in there anyway, so not a big deal. Let's move on. I've got a ton of stuff here. So I don't need this on the dashboard anymore because I did it, I already wrote it in. Um, so that'll get moved for next month. This is actually something that I'm not even gonna need by the time February starts, so that's good. Um, now, I usually do school here, but I'm gonna do it here because if you look on January's, um, I just kind of took up a lot of space with stickers and I didn't need it. And I don't have like a project this month that really lends itself to like a bunch of tasks like this. And so I'm going to move my projects to this box and then have little checklists for each of the smaller projects. And then I'm gonna put any school information here because there's not gonna be a lot um, because there's a whole week off. February's only got three, you know, four weeks. So there's only three weeks of school and most of the stuff I'm not even gonna need to write down. So we're gonna put school here. And then here I'm going to use those little checklist stickers and just put any information about our Boston trip. And then here I'm just gonna keep doing my goals the way I did here, okay? So um, I have these scripts that I made and I want to layer those on something, I think. Maybe. Mm, lots of deco. So let's just go ahead and put them on here with can I use these little, I never use these little teardrop things. I honestly don't really get what they're for. But let's just put it up in the corner. I don't know. <laughs> Goals. 
Um, this one is school. I don't like that. What if I turn it this way? And kind of have it stick off the side a little bit. Power is still out. Which means I'm not going to be able to edit this video today like I thought I was going to. I don't know, we'll have to see how, what time it is whenever the power finally comes back on. So goals, school, which this didn't cut right. Oh, it was too close to the one that says projects. For projects, I'm going to, I'll just use the sticker that I already pulled off of here so it doesn't get wasted. And I will put that there and then I will put the word projects in the flag. And then whenever I write which projects are which, I will use these um, teardrop things for each of the projects. Okay, so school and projects. Um, okay, so for this one, this is just gonna be like a Boston checklist, which I don't really need, you know, that much, but it's just a good spot for it. And I'm gonna put the calendar over. I'm gonna put the calendar over here because that I'm not gonna to wanna to write right next to the coil anyway. So let's take up the space with this calendar and let's put it up here. And then if I have any deco, I will be able to layer it on the bottom. All right, and then these, I'm pretty sure these line up with the dot grid. And I'm probably gonna to have to cut them. So it starts getting off like right about here. So I'm gonna cut it, and remove the part where it's not really lining up anymore. I mean, it's still lining up pretty good and up until this point. <laughs> I can, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so this is a little checklist for Boston and I'm going to use this again where it says vacation. And what can we layer that on? I guess I should have figured that out before I put that checklist down. and I will fill that in when I need to. This is what I wanted to do the projects on and I need I'm just gonna do yeah we'll do start there with I can use these were meant for the horizontal. And I'm gonna end up cutting these. So let's look at my goals on one of the previous pages. God, this is such a mess. I have way too many stickers over here. This is like really, um, <laughs> it's too much. I'm gonna do my creative goals and my home goals here. That's what I want to do. And so I need to, let's use like this highlighter, I guess. And um, we losing light. Uh, okay. So I'm going to put some highlighter down and I'm gonna write 
with the other side of this. Um, creativity. And for that one, I want to finish a pair of socks that I'm knitting. And then I have some wool embroidery that I'm doing. And so I'm just going to make three little check boxes there for that. For the home goals, I'm going to start another line over here. We'll do another line of highlighter. And um, home. That is, I'm just going to put these here. And I suppose I could write it down. Okay. The home goals I need to, um, I need to get the frames for the gallery wall, which I had hoped I was already going to have done in January, but that didn't work out. Um, I need to get the photos for that. I need to hang it. And that's like the end of that specific project for the gallery wall, but I also want to deep clean the half bath to prep for like painting and changing out fixtures and stuff like that. The goals are, the rest of the goals are um, eye doctor, savings deposit, so um, I'm going to put eye doctor slash glasses because I need to get new glasses and I want to do a savings deposit. I want to read before we were, whoops. before we were yours. And then I don't really have another one, do I? Um, I mean, I have the Boston trip, but that's this. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave it blank for now. I don't have to fill out every little spot. The vacation one, I, um, I don't have anything to put here yet, so. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, I, oh, I'm going to highlight the when we're gone on this little mini sticker here. I bought this little pack of mini stickers um, just on a whim. I guess they were on sale and really cheap or whatever, but um, I don't ever really know what to do with them and they're dated, so I'm just using them for whatever now. <laughs> And then we are coming back, yeah. So that is when we are going to be gone. School, I don't have anything to write there. This, I actually don't need anymore. So that can go in the trash. And the cards, that, um, I'm actually not gonna make cards anymore. Um, I, I was trying to make cards just to play with some of my like supplies, but honestly, it's like, it wasn't really ever a goal for me to make cards. It was more of a goal to send cards. And then like the process of making them is just kind of becoming like this barrier to actually sending the cards. Like I'm not 
working on them enough and I don't like how they look and it's just one of those things. So I'm removing that barrier so that I'm not over complicating my goal of just sending some dang birthday cards to people I care about, you know? So I'm not actually gonna make cards. Um, maybe I'll pick that up again later, but it's just something that's not really working out for me right now. So no big deal. I want to just get my um, tasks. Does that fit? Okay just make my checklist. This is kind of how I do, I just do like a running checklist and I'm just gonna kind of do it like that. We'll use this other piece of washi. Where did that little piece, here it goes. I just have this little script that says get stuff done that I thought was cute and I'm just gonna put it right here next to the Erin Condren logo. All right, so let me add some tasks here for some of the things that I know I'm gonna need to get done, like cleaning out my car and stuff like that. Clean car, um, March cards. Ooh, that was lightning. I'm gonna write garden here cause I need to start thinking about like the spring garden and maybe popping some seeds for, you know, vegetables and stuff for a little container garden. And um, that's all I'm gonna put there now. Oh, oh, I didn't do deco. Let's put a little bit of deco on here. Um, I'm not like a huge Valentine's fan. I don't really care, but everything for February is Valentine's, you know? Um, let's do like I did, what do we do here? I just kind of put like a little bit of deco like sprinkled around and I just think a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna do this cute like heart, tie-dye heart thing up here. Cause I like don't really end up using like this top right corner of my list. So it's okay if like a bigger piece of deco is there. Um, this little section here is like pretty unusable. I mean, you could still write there, but I, I just don't. Maybe that'll just help me think, oh, I need to do the cards <laughs> that I wanna do. Um, and then I'll take this one. Um, hmm, let me switch these around. It's getting darker and darker. <laughs> I need to hurry this up. I was hoping to, to film another video after this, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, sure, that looks cute. Oh, I love these little flowers and those aren't like super Valentines. Um, Let's put it here and then I'll just cut this little tiny piece off. Oh, I gotta hurry. It's getting dark fast. <laughs> oh no. All right, I'm just gonna call it here because it's getting so dark. Um, I'm gonna use this because it's cute. This is a love songs little, um, like a mixtape. There, very cute. Okay, that's it, I'm gonna call it. And maybe just during the course of the month, I will put some, you know, fun deco around more, but really I'm just gonna end up saving these and using them next year. And yeah, I don't have to use them all at once just because they're on the sheet, you know? So that is it for me for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.